So I have some unfortunately sad news today. Unfortunately, I do have to announce that one of my hamsters, Henry, who was my Campbell's dwarf hamster, has sadly passed away. Before I go any further into this video, I do want to say that this did happen a little bit ago. It's not like this happened last night. It was like over a week ago that this happened now. So if I don't seem like too upset or anything, it's just because this did happen a little while ago. I've had time to, you know, process it and come to terms with it and I'm not someone who likes to like really hold on to the past what happened happened I just want to move forward I don't, I don't know I just don't want anyone questioning like why I'm not upset and essentially it's just I have already had time to process this and I'm not someone who likes to dwell on things that have happened in the past that may be upsetting I like to you know just be as positive as I can and move forward because being upset in the long run accomplishes nothing. That's just me personally. I understand everyone's different and everyone processes these things differently. So this is just, this is just me. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Henry was. He's been on my channel for a little while. He's been in quite a few videos as I did have him for about 10 months and now I know that 10 months doesn't sound that long but please keep in mind his age was completely unknown when I got him. He could have been three months old, he could have been a year old, I really don't know. There was no way to know his age when I got him so I unfortunately don't know how old he was when he passed but I do know that he did live a good life, which brings me comfort. I know that he lived a very good life. He was always a very happy hamster. Anytime I walked in my pet room, he was always out running on his wheel. He loved his saucer. He loved his wheel. He was a very energetic hamster. And he just really you could tell he just very much enjoyed life and that makes me happy anytime i went in the room i would open up his cage even if i was just going to feed him and he would immediately like run onto my hand he honestly absolutely loved attention he was very tame he was very friendly with people which was amazing and he was just so full of life and while it does make me sad that he's not here anymore, it makes me happy knowing how happy he always was when he was here. I'm tearing up a little, but that's okay. So, sometime last week I went into my small pet room just before I went to bed. I was doing all of my, like, nightly animal chores so I was feeding all the hamsters making sure that they all had water and I noticed that when I opened Henry's cage up he didn't come running out like he literally always does like I said before he was just so friendly and so full of life if he wasn't already out when I would open his cage he would instantly come out because I don't, he was just so friendly he would run up to my hand and I noticed that he didn't come out this time so I started looking for him I was lifting the highs and stuff and I eventually found him and I found him in one of his favorite hides it was a little ceramic hide that he always loved he would always hoard his food in there it was one of his favorite places and I found him unfortunately passed away although I do think that he passed away very peacefully it was fairly sudden to me like literally the night before he was out running on his wheel all night long and then he unfortunately was gone the next day based on the way that I found him though where he was just in his hide, he had his eyes closed, he was curled up. I do think that he just passed peacefully in his sleep, so that's always, you know, comforting. You never want your animals to suffer, so 
it brings me comfort that um he seemed to just go peacefully i just think that it was his time to go and thankfully he didn't have to suffer at all Ooh, <laughs> i did not think that i was going to get emotional in this video which is why at the beginning <laughs> i said i didn't think i would seem that emotional but here i am <laughs> so yeah unfortunately um Henry's not here anymore, but I mean, in a way, he still is. He was in so many videos on my channel. He will always be there for us. I know a lot of you guys probably really enjoyed seeing him, so I'm sure that some of you guys will miss him too, but just know he lived a really good life, and he was always very well cared for. <laughs> Now, I already assume that I'm going to get a lot of questions asking me if I'm going to be getting another hamster or when I'm going to be getting another one. So I wanted to just kind of answer that in this video so that you guys just know. And basically the answer to that is I'm not going to be getting another hamster anytime soon. As a lot of you guys know, I do have two other hamsters. I have pumpkin and spice. They are both Syrian hamsters and because I have those two already I really don't have any desire to get another one since Henry passed so I don't think I will be anytime soon. That being said, Pumpkin and Spice are both elderly also which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate when you have, you know, three animals who are likely going to pass within a very short amount of time of each other and I don't know if that's like morbid to think about but I mean the truth is pumpkin and spice are both two years old now they're both visibly showing signs of aging spice's fur has been thinning a lot as has pumpkins um they're both losing weight neither of them show any signs of like illness or anything it's just normal signs of aging but they are both two years old um so it's really unfortunate to think about the fact that they all three of my hamsters will likely you know go within a short amount of time of each other again i don't know if that's super morbid to think about but it's the truth so as of right now, I'm just spending my time with pumpkin and spice. Um, like I said, they're elderly, so I'm just right now caring for them. I have no desire to get a new hamster while they are still around. I just want to spend my time with them and care for them and make sure that they live good lives as well. I know Henry lived a really good life, so I want them to live really good lives also. But I guess, yeah, the short answer is just I don't have any plans to get another hamster, likely until Pumpkin and Spice have also passed and then I may consider getting another one in the future, but as of right now, I just have no desire to get another one. I already still have two, so yeah, I really love owning hamsters though, so I have no plan to stop owning them I just don't want to get another one right now if that makes sense and some of you guys probably don't even care but I know that some of you guys would be asking so I did just want to answer this quickly so that you guys knew what was going on and yeah so I'm sorry that this video wasn't very happy or exciting it was probably pretty sad but that's just the reality of owning pets. It's not all great. Unfortunately, you will have to lose them at some point and it sucks, but it happens and yeah. Another thing I want to point out, I feel like this is kind of even just dumb to point out, but I did monetize this video and I'm sure some people will be upset about that and whatnot and basically just want to say I just <laughs> had like a $400 vet bill and I'm going back to the vet on Tuesday. This has nothing to do with hamsters by the way. This is for Sandwich who's like my special needs frog. He 
he has to go to the vet. He He's doing fine though, by the way. He just, you know, he has to go to the vet sometimes. So yeah, I just have like a $400 vet bill and obviously I can pay for it. Like it's my responsibility when I own animals is to be able to pay for the vet. So it's not like I'm asking you guys for money or anything. I'm just explaining. I personally chose to monetize this video because this is my job, this is how I pay for my pets, and I did just have a large vet bill recently, so I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain this because it is my video and my choice, but I knew that some people might be upset about it, so I just wanted to put that out there. But yes, unfortunately Henry did pass away, but he was very loved and he had a very good life and he was always very happy and just so full of life all the time. So it's sad that this happened, but unfortunately it's inevitable. It's something you have to deal with when you own pets, but I'm still pretty sad about it. You know, you know it has to happen, but it doesn't make it any easier when it does happen. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'm sorry to give you this sad news. Hopefully none of you guys are too upset or anything, but I just I needed to update you guys on what was going on. So this is this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in my next video.